So here we are guys with our colour display. Now today we're going to give you a bit of a rundown on how this um, system works. This particular one we have installed on our uh, dual suspension ace bike. They are compatible obviously with our whole range. You just have to make sure if you have a dual headlight functioning bike with the DRL and headlight that you have the right display. Um, now, first things first, obviously we're going to turn, we've got our keypad here with our on and off button, we've got our mode and our plus and minus. Um, the first thing to note, when you've been out on a bike ride and you turn your bike display off, you go to a cafe or whatever you're doing, you come back in an hour, try and turn the bike on <clears throat> and it won't turn on. Um, that is because what happens is the battery and our second generation aluminium batteries have a safety override. So what happens is, is when the bike sits for more than an hour, the, um, you actually have to flick the switch on and back, uh, off and back on again, and that wakes the battery. So the battery goes into what we call sleep mode. Um, that's ultimately a safety, um, mechanism. And it also saves a bit of power drain um, on your battery while it's not when your bike's not in use. So uh, keep that in mind if your display is not turning on. So back to the display, we've got <clears throat> so we hold the power obviously to turn it on, um, and you can see here we have our um, clock in the top. Um, we've got our voltage and our battery level. Um, now you can change that battery voltage to percentage if you like, um, which I generally do because I kind of prefer it over reading volts. Uh, then we've got our speed, our motor wattage underneath, um, and then our pedal assist level, uh, one, two, three, four, or five, which is controlled by the plus and minus here. Um, now if we hit the mode button, We'll be able to cycle the, through the bottom here, through our trip, our odometer, um, our estimated range, our elapsed time, uh, max speed that's been travelled, uh, and our average speed um, overall. So essentially, if you want to make any adjustments to this, all you need to do is double tap the mode button. Um, do it. Do it fast, there we go. Um, then we've got our settings here. Um, obviously, um, we've got our brightness, brightness um, backlight there. We've got our auto off, so the bike's gonna turn off after five minutes of being inactive automatically. Um, all of these are obviously pretty straightforward, but our battery indicator will change that from voltage to percent and I'll just double tap to get out and you can see now we've got our battery percentage showing so that's um, I kind of prefer that um, if you find that you set your clock in your display which is down the bottom here see clock um, if you find that you set that um, <clears throat> and you come back and you turn you come back a couple of days later, take your bike out for another ride and find that it's um, it's reset um, and it's not showing the right time. That is because the new displays, they need to be run a few times for the internal battery on the display to charge. So if you're not using the bike often or it's new out of the box, new display, vice versa, um, it's going to take a few rides until your clock will actually start to save the time. Uh, when that internal battery um, and the display charges up. <clears throat> uh, another one here, this little icon, uh, that it means your brakes are active and all mo motor drive is being disabled. Uh, now, next one we've got, <clears throat> uh, if we hold the minus button, um, that's going to put us into walk mode, which then going to throttle the bike to about 6k's walking speed which is handy just to 
help get the bike rolling or whatnot before you start pedaling um, if you're on a hill or what have you. Uh, the next thing is on the ACE bikes, you've got the dual headlight, so hold the plus to activate your DRL or low beam. Hold the plus again to activate your high beam. Hold the plus again to turn your light off. So you can see here, plus for the low beam, plus for the high beam. And plus again to turn off. And that's how you operate the light. Um, then if we go back to our uh, settings here, which is double tap the mode. We're going to go um, down to, so the next one's uh, start password. Now, this is a password you can set um, to turn the bike, to unlock the bike essentially when you turn it on. If you set that and you forget it, uh, we can't reset that. You're going to have to replace your whole display, essentially. So if you forget your password, um, don't do that. <laughs> um, all right, so basic setting. We come down to these three dots down the bottom. Um, and we've got our wheel diameter, our battery voltage, our USB port um, light sensor. Um, so that's essentially, there's a sensor here when it's dark. Um, it'll automatically turn your headlight on. Uh, if we go to advanced settings now, um, and we can put the input password, which is 1919. Uh, you can change your speed limit for off-road use. Uh, you can change the amount of assist levels uh, from uh, 1 to 3, 1 to 5, or 1 to 9. Um, and that essentially, if you change that to 1 to 9, that gives you more um, assist uh, steps in between each sort of gear. It doesn't make your bike any faster or slower. It just makes your pedal assist um, changes more gradual, so to speak. Uh, and that's pretty much it. If you've got any other questions, uh, feel free to sing out or drop a comment below. Thanks for watching.